Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, 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 I want to see you. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. My name is Linda Burdett. I am a Unity Ministerial student standing in for Pastor Robert, who is taking a day off healthy and well. So grateful to be here with you today. Please join me in prayer. Father, Mother, God, we are so grateful for all of the love that flows to us and through us in this day. God, we are grateful that our time of isolation is finally coming to an end, and we know that we will be together soon. Thank you, God. Amen. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, 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 I want to see. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Thank you, Jody. That's one of my very favorites. As we begin this service, we would like to begin with blessings. We'll start by blessing those who have come before us, the people who created the world they had so that our world could be created from it. For the second candle, we bless those here and now, standing in the substance, walking, working, loving together, holding the truth of our divinity. And as we light the third candle, our blessings and awareness turns to all that is to come, knowing that everything we are doing and creating 
will be built upon by those who come at next. Amen. The atmosphere is changing now For the Spirit of the Lord is here The evidence is all around That the Spirit of the Lord is here the atmosphere is changing now for the spirit of the Lord is here the evidence is all around that the Spirit of the Lord is here. Overflow in this place, fill our hearts with your love, your love surrounds us. You're the reason we came. To encounter your love, your love surrounds us. The atmosphere is changing now. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. The evidence is all around that the Spirit of the Lord is here. The atmosphere is changing now. For the Spirit of the Lord is here, the evidence is all around, that the Spirit of the Lord is here, overflow in this place, fill our hearts with your love. Your love surrounds us. You're the reason we came to encounter your love. Your love surrounds us. Overflow in this place. Fill our hearts with your love. Your your love your love surrounds us our scripture for today comes from Acts 17 24 28 the New International Version. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in temples built by human hands. And he is not served by human hands as if he needed anything. Rather, he himself 
gives everyone life and breath and everything else. From one man he made all nations, that he should inhabit the whole earth, and he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. As some of our own poets have said, we are his offspring. Let us take this into meditation. As you breathe in slowly and gently and you release, you will become aware you are surrounded by God. Breathing in and releasing, you fall deeper into this knowing God is everywhere. God is in the children's smiles. He's in the waves of the neighbors. He's in the nurses and the doctors and the firemen that go to work every morning. He's in your very breath. Taking this deeper into this knowing that you are never far away from God. The Spirit is always with us, in us, and living through us. We take this light with us into the world, in our days, either behind the computer or in front of the desk. We know we have God inside us. We share this God. We share this divinity and this spirit with all that we interact. We breathe it through us and we live as God. Rest for a moment in the knowing that the divinity is all around. Like a fish in water, we are surrounded by God's love. Continuing to breathe in this love, this connection, this life of joy and empowerment. Everything we have is provided by the one that loves us so much. And we carry that love into the world. As you take your next breath, begin to come back to this realization of the here and now, bringing with you this knowledge that love lives all in you. God's divine greatness is in every cell of your body, healing you and healing our world. Namaste. Thank you, Becky, Jody. That was beautiful. This week, we are delighted to be in a new book study. Our focus turns to spiritual economics. Our learning and healing in this area supports the learning and healing of the world. We celebrate our dedication to thriving spiritually and economically. Eric Butterworth begins his book with a chapter on the truth about substance. And that's what we're going to talk about today, is that truth on what substance is. 
The word substance comes from the Latin word substare, meaning to stand under. So substance literally is that which stands under everything. As truth students, we are familiar with this concept. Substance we might think of is, is what stuff is made out of, is, is what we can touch, what we can feel. But the reality is it's drawn from and held up by what true substance is. And that's what we're going to talk about. Butterworth explains it like this. We are referring not just to the component parts that make up a thing, but to the non-material essence at the very root of it. The reality of the non-material, the space between the atoms and the molecules. We also know this as the God particle. So let's look at the metaphysics of substance. The revealing word tells us that substance is a divine idea, the divine idea of the underlying reality of all things. Substance is everywhere present, pervades all things, and inspires it to action. It underlines all manifestation and is the spiritual essence, the living energy of which everything is made. Through substance, all the attributes of being are expressed. It sustains and enriches any idea that is projected into it. Wow, that's kind of special, isn't it? The revealing word is, is written that way. So what does that mean to us? <clears throat> it means that substance isn't the material thing, it's not what we're standing on or the carpet that it's made of, it's the idea of it. It's having the idea of carpet and drawing that idea into manifestation, that drawing, that power that brings it from the mind into reality, that's what substance is. And that's what we need to be aware of and what we use to create the life that we need, we want to be living right here and right now. So let's go back to the revealing word. Divine substance, <clears throat> next level, right? Divine substance is man's supply. Out of it, he forms whatever he will according to his faith and understanding by entering into the silence, acknowledging divine substance, affirming his faith in the oneness with it. Man becomes conscious of substance. So do you have to believe it to see it or do you have to see it to believe it? kind of a different play there. Spiritual realization of divine substance enriches the soil or thought stuff of the mind. Jesus considered divine substance the treasure field in which he could find the fulfillment of his every need. Every demonstration over mortal limitations is followed by a realization of infinite reality. There is so much more to substance than what we may have assumed or believed. Jesus knew this. Jesus understood substance. And as he tells us in John 14, 12, these things and more shall you do. We've been hearing that our whole lives, right? How do we do these things and more? The same way Jesus did. Understanding substance. It's our first step into thriving with spiritual economics. Okay, so substance is more than when we, what we thought it was before. But what does that mean to you? We just talked about what Jesus was able to do with it. What does that mean for the rest of us? Jesus is our way shower. 
All we need to do is go to scripture and find the way. Jesus starts by giving thanks. Not a snarky, oh, more fish, thanks for that. But a legitimate, serious, true, deep, and informed thanks. When Jesus gives thanks, it comes from knowing the truth about substance. He was not seeing the insufficient supply to feed the people. He was seeing beyond the physical appearance. He was giving thanks for the substance that is always greater than our every need. Jesus showed us how to do that too. Be grateful that your needs are met, knowing that no matter what the worldly appearances are, your needs are met. That's where your, <clears throat> your gratitude comes from. That's how you stir the truth of substance. So what does that mean to you? You know what? I can't tell you. I can't even begin to guess. Only you can decide what that means to you. Only you can decide what your life should mean, should stand for, what it is that you want to create, how you are going to use divine substance. Because you are because you do. And if the life that you are living right now is not meeting the dreams that you are dreaming right now, learning how to create with substance, learning how to truly be thankful despite the illusions of the world right in front of us on a deeper level, on a bigger level, is how we thrive, is how we move forward. I really hope that you will join us in this book study. For the next several weeks, as the book study is running, we're going to continue to bring you the topics that we're studying. The book is Spiritual Economics by Eric Butterworth. We are offering classes both in the morning and in the evening. There'll be more about that in the announcements. I thank you so much for your time to get to, sorry. I thank you so much for your time with us. The only way we can be together right now. And I hold in prayer with you that the world is opening up and one day before too long we'll be ever, able to be together again. Please join me in prayer. Father, Mother, God, we are so grateful that we can look beyond limitations, that we can see above and beyond the problems that we are walking through right now and know that you are here greater than our every need, that you are here guiding us, holding us, loving us, and directing us. And so it is. Amen. Fullness of eternal promise Stirring in your sons and daughters Earth revealing heaven's wonders Spirit come, Spirit come What you spoke is now unfolding All your children shall behold it. Dreams awaken in this moment. Spirit come, Spirit come. Pour it out, let your love run over here and now. 
Let your glory fill this house. Pour it out. Let your love run over here and now. Let your glory fill this house. Now the world awaits your presence. And this power is within us. We will rise to be your witness. Spirit, come. Spirit, come. Pour it out. Let your love run over here and now. Let your glory fill this house, pour it out. Let your love run over here and now. Let your glory fill this house. Let our hearts continue burning. For our King is soon returning As we hold to this assurance Spirit come, Spirit come Spirit come, Spirit come, Spirit come. Pour it out let your love run over here and now. Let your glory fill this house. Pour it out. Let your love run over here and now. Let your glory fill this house here and now. Let your glory fill this house. I'll start with the prosperity blessing. Today we honor the many ways we give to our family, community, the world, and especially to this ministry. We rely upon your support. Each time you tithe or donate to our ministry, you're ascending an affirmative prayer, affirming God's good manifesting through us. Today, let's repeat. As you hold your love offering in your hand and at your heart, divine love flowing through me blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. Thank you, thank you, God. We love you, and you're important to us. We miss you. Wherever you have, whenever you have, need a prayer, please call us, and we'll have a chaplain return your call as soon as possible. We also encourage you to call Silent Unity. They're open 365 days a year, waiting to serve you in prayer. They also have the U app, if you have that, and you can um, send a prayer through, through an app on your phone. If you'd like to receive regular calls from our telephone ministry or wish to receive daily emails with video links, please contact our office at 619-579-9586. Wish to thank all of the souls involved in this video ministry. It takes a lot of hands and hearts and hours to write, produce, and edit our videos. We're grateful for each person who participates. We especially want to thank you for viewing and sending your messages and leaving comments. I even got a phone call this week, which was lovely, a personal phone call from one of the congregants. We thank you, Phil. We thank you, Linda and Bob Burdett, and myself, Jody Bagley, Patricia Santos, 
Judy Gaudet, Kathy Richmond, Nancy Segluzzo, Pastor Robert, and Frankie and Samantha Thompson. Please join us for the book studies. We'll be starting the, with Spiritual Economics for Eric Butterworth. We're going to start this week, and we're very excited. Linda will be hosting the one on Wednesday morning at 9.30, and I will be ho hosting one on Thursday evening at 6 th 6.30. We hope that you join us. Just email the office, and we'll see you in Spiritual Economics. Thank you. Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. With God as creator, family all are we. Let us walk with each other in perfect harmony. Let peace begin with me. Let this be the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my joyous vow to take each moment and live each moment in peace eternally. on earth and let it begin with me thank you and now please join me in the prayer for protection the light of God surrounds us the love of God enfolds us the power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and all is well. Amen. <clears throat> I hope that we see you in the book study again. That's this week. It starts Wednesday morning and Thursday night. Register at the office. Happy Valentine's Day, and thank you for spending time with us today. God bless you. joining us and let's stay connected and grow in spirit we are on facebook search for unity church of el cajon and follow us and like our posts you can reach us on youtube at unity church of el cajon please subscribe to our channel watch our videos and leave comments which can help us improve we are on the web at unity of el Email or call our church office to receive our weekly newsletters, which lists all of our activities and opportunities to learn and grow together. <laughs>